of the things predicted as well is the proliferation of intoxications towards the end of times and the prol proliferation of music as well. Now, music existed in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. It existed, but it wasn't common. It wasn't the norm. Uh, intoxicants existed, of course, but again, it wasn't the norm. And our Prophet ﷺ came and forbade intoxication and definitely discouraged the issue of musical instruments. And he predicted that a time will come when this will be the norm. It will be everywhere. And again, we see this now that the rise of, you know, marijuana and other things is now the norm, common. It is something that unfortunately even our own youngsters, many of them don't think this to be a big deal as well. Of the uh, trends that are predicted by our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the building of magnificent masjids that will be empty. We seek Allah's refuge from ever having magnificent masjids that are empty. It's good to have good masjids but we want them to be packed. But he, meant, he mentioned, he predicted that a time will come when the masjid will be magnificent and nobody will come to pray in them. We seek Allah's refuge, but there are plenty of masajid. Millions, multi-millions. And I don't want to mention too explicit, but especially in those old rich countries, you see in the middle of nowhere, just for the sake of showing that I built it. And so much, hundreds of millions is spent. And when you come to salah, it is... Empty, completely empty. Of the generic trends that are mentioned, and this is one of those trends that again, very cryptic, the famous hadith in uh, uh, the hadith of Jibreel. The hadith of Jibreel, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that of the signs of judgment day is that the slave girl shall give birth to her own master. This is one of the most famous cryptic predictions of judgment day. What does it mean? Children will become dominant over their parents. I'll be quiet here and let that sink in amongst the parents, especially those parents who have teenagers, and take some consolation that this is predicted and Ibn Hajar has predicted it. Children will become bossy and domineering over the parents. Who is in charge? If you go to some households, you don't quite know who is actually in charge of what is going on. And in fact, this was commented on by Ibn Hajar 800 years ago that the meaning of this hadith is that the children will dominate and give the orders and be disrespectful to their parents so they will be the ones calling the shots and the parents will be then you know uh, not uh, uh, you know uh, being in charge so this is another interpretation as well of the uh, predictions that are the general trends that are predicted of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the increase in the number of markets, bazaars, the increase of shopping centers. Now, were there not shopping centers in classical times? Of course there were. But typically, typically, every city had one area. Medina had one area. Mecca had one area. It was the bazaar. And it was very rare for a mid-sized city to have two bazaars. It didn't make sense. There's the place, you go and shop and sell, you come back. So to have multiple shopping centers and shopping centers and bazaars and souks, generally speaking, our sharia has mentioned that they are not the most beloved of places. Why? Because number one, materialism and dunya. Number two, cheating and lying. Number three, interest. Number four, robberies will take place over there. Number five, from the beginning of times, shopping malls have been associated with the riffraff and the thugs and the ruffians and the flirtations. That happens over there to this day. Back then, this is the way it is, right? You want to do something or you want to, you go there and you go. It's not a place of piety and taqwa. And that's why our Prophet Sallallahu said, the most beloved of all places of any city are its masajid. And the most despised of any city are its shopping places shopping place you need to go you go and you cut out you do what you need to do you leave but to make that your socialization this leads to a hardening of the heart this leads to love of the dunya this leads to whatever you have i want the next level up it's not healthy what's the point of this and our prophet system predicted shopping centers would prol proliferate and again we see this in our times as well وَأَنذِرِ النَّاسَ يَوْمَ يَأْتِيهِمُ 
العذاب فيقول الذين ظلموا فيقول الذين ظلموا ربنا أخرنا إلى أجل قريب نجب دعوتك ونتبع رسل أولم تكونوا أقسمتم من قبل ما لكم من زوال وسكنتم في مساكن الذين ظلموا أنفسهم وتبين لكم كيف فعلنا بهم وضربنا لكم الأمثال وقد مكروا مكرهم وعند الله مكرهم وإن كان مكرهم لتزول منه الجبال فلا تحسبن الله مخلف وعده رسله إن الله عزيز ذو انتقام يوم تبدل الأرض غير الأرض والسماوات وبرزوا لله الواحد القهار وترى المجرمين يومئذ مقرنين في الأصفاد سرابيلهم من قطران وتغشى وجوههم النار ليجزي الله كل نفس ما كسبت إن الله سريع الحساب هذا بلاغ للناس ولينذروا به وليعلموا أنما هو إله واحد وليذكر أولو الأمر